As to affordable housing, it's been an issue that we've covered a few times recently. The Black Hills Community Foundation is hoping to find a solution. Our Cody Dennis spoke with their CEO as well as some companies involved with the foundation about their recent projects and has more on how they plan to tackle the issue. On Wednesday, Liz Hamburg with Black Hills Community Foundation spoke in detail about the Strategic Housing Trust Fund, a fund that offers low interest loans to developers so they can build below market rate housing. Um, we had, we'd raised about $15 million total. We have about $11 million committed. We'd love to hit the $20 million mark uh, and you know, keep those dollars revolving. And this will, this will be a perpetual resource for housing in the Black Hills. In addition to Rapid City, we're working to develop similar housing trust funds for the communities out in the rest of our territory in the Black Hills. These loans are funded by organizations like Elevate Rapid City, the Bush Foundation, and Dream Design International. A spokesperson for Dream Design International says addressing affordable housing in Rapid City takes more than one company. You know, uh, building a better Rapid City does not happen by, you know, one company dreaming or two companies dreaming. No, this is a community effort. Um, also, uh, elected officials and city offices, you know, it's a community effort. So we, we want to be there for them and do our best in making this happen. Lloyd Companies is currently building Springs Edge, which includes income-based apartments. Their spokesperson says tools like the Strategic Housing Trust Fund allow them to start more affordable housing projects in the area. I think we've seen a, a great need for affordable housing in, in Pennington County, Rapid City, and uh, we'll, we'll likely be applying for projects with the state in the future for, for this area to try and help as best we can. For those looking at projects funded by the Strategic Housing Trust Fund, the Radiant Apartments just opened in Rapid City and Springs Edge Apartments are expected to open soon. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Cody Dennis.